if you're a man and you've had prostatitis, you know how incredibly painful this condition is. If you're a woman and you've dated a man or married a man who has prostatitis, you know how it wreaks hell in every area of our life. But what do we do if we have it? And what is it? David Essel here, David Essel's Daily Video Boost. And remember, if you don't get these videos for free every Monday through Friday, we have a free video subscription right at talkdavid.com. Go to talkdavid.com right now and sign up for it. David Essel's Daily Video Boost, and you'll get one of these incredible inspirational videos every day. So a number of years ago, I was walking down the beach, and all of a sudden I felt this outrageous pain in between my legs. I didn't know what it was. I couldn't imagine what it was. I was walking maybe another 30, 40 feet, and I fell to my knees. I was in so much pain, and I had no idea what was going on. I couldn't remember anything that I had done to hurt myself. I, it came from out of the blue. I eventually made it back to my chair, eventually got in a car, and drove directly to an emergency room center. When I talked to the physician on staff about what I experienced, he said to me, what has led up to this? And I said, I can't think of a thing. He said, what's your urination been like? And right there, I was about to go on a journey of education that is incredible. Over the previous year, I had been getting up four or five times a night to go to the bathroom, which is one of the signs of prostatitis. Prostatitis is an inflamed prostate gland. Now, there's two types of prostatitis. There's bacteria and non-bacterial prostatitis. About 90%, unfortunately, of prostatitis is non-bacterial, meaning antibiotics will not touch it. It is outrageously painful. Some men can't have sex. Some men will be like me. I was eventually up seven, eight times a night for over a year trying to figure out how to cure it once I, went on, when I, once I got it. I went on a heavy-duty 21-day antibiotic regimen, even though the test came back negative as it was a non-bacteria prostatitis, I said, I want to try anything. I was in so much pain. Everywhere I went, I had to sit on an inner tube, driving my car, in my office, right here, doing the sessions with clients, uh, going out to dinner. I had an inner tube everywhere. I couldn't sit because the pain was so intense. I couldn't exercise. I, I, I really literally couldn't do anything. It was so amazing. And there's no medical intervention that I have ever heard of for prostatitis. So the swelling of the gland can have so many different outcomes and manifestations. Urination is one. Incredible pain between the legs is another. Pain in the testicles, pain in the penis. There's pain everywhere. Uh, inability to sleep because you're up so many times a night. So what do we do? What do we do if we have prostatitis? And here's David Essel saying there's no medical cure, there's no treatment that we know of. There is one treatment that I'm going to recommend. It's called the broccoli treatment. Go online and Google broccoli treatment for prostatitis. Follow it. It took me nine months of following this regimen on a daily basis before I finally broke free and became healed. The other thing you want to do is check with your doctor, a hormone doctor, probably not your normal doctor, Go to a hormone specialist and check your levels of testosterone and estrogen. When I went and got mine tested, my estrogen was as high as a 15-year-old girl, and my testosterone was as low as a 120-year-old man. My hormones, for some reason, no one knows why, were all whacked out. That was part of the problem. We need to remove. Now, write this stuff down, and if you don't, go to in my, the, the Internet, go to YouTube, and Google David Essel prostatitis. I think I have three or four videos there. Remove nicotine, alcohol, sugar. Sugar is one of the most powerful inflammatory drugs. I don't call it a food, it's a drug in the body. And prostatitis is an inflammation. So guess what sugar does? Guess what alcohol does? Nicotine restricts blood flow, which is gonna create hell in that area as well. Get rid of all white flour, get rid of any, dairy products can cause problems for some people. Get on a very lean protein, high vegetable diet with no snack foods, no convenience foods, nothing. You've gotta get very serious about this. Men commit suicide every year based on the pain of prostatitis. Isn't that incredible? I mean, that someone will take their life because the pain is that great. And I can tell you, when I went through it for a year, it was hell on earth. It was something I never want to repeat. And now every day we help thousands of men to get away from prostatitis through the various treatments I'm talking about and more. There's a lot of supplements we recommend too. 
after watching this video and the other videos on the internet. If you need help, if you're a woman and you've got a boyfriend or a husband that needs help, get him to contact me. If you're a man, contact me. The only way I got out of that mess was to ask for help over and over and over again. It's worth it. Go to talkdavid.com, email me, and we'll work on this together, okay? Have a great day.